Today we're going to talk about division of power series, and in this particular problem, we're going to use power series division to find the first three non-zero terms of the Maclaurin series. And in this particular problem, we have the equation y equals x divided by sine of x, and we need to use power series division to find the first three non-zero terms of this Maclaurin series. So the first thing we need to do is find a power series representation for sine of x. x we can leave as it is because it's already in the form of a polynomial, but sine of x is not, so we need to find a power series representation for it. The Maclaurin series of sine of x is already well known, and this is the formula that we have for it. If we expand this Maclaurin series for sine of x, what we get is x minus x cubed over 3 factorial, etc. So what we can do is simplify this and then divide x by this power series here for sine of x. So we'll call this x minus x cubed over, and then instead of 3 factorial, we'll write out the actual value of 3 factorial. So 3 factorial is 6 then we say plus x to the fifth divided by 5 factorial, which is actually 120. And for now, we'll just leave it like that. If we end up needing this x to the seventh over 7 factorial term, then we'll calculate that later as well. But now, since we have x divided by sine of x, what we're going to do is we're going to take this power series we just found, so x minus x cubed over 6 plus x to the fifth over 120 minus dot dot dot, we'll just go ahead and leave that like that, and we will divide x by this power series that we just found, because we have x divided by sine of x, and this represents sine of x, so we have x divided by sine of x. What we need to do is figure out what we need to multiply by x, this first term here, in order to get x, which is the first term inside the long division bracket here. So obviously we just have to multiply x by one, so we go ahead and put one up here, and then we multiply 1 by everything out here. So we get 1 times x is x, 1 times negative x cubed over 6 is negative x cubed over 6, and then we get plus x to the fifth over 120. Now we're going to go ahead and subtract what we just got from x. So we'll put a minus sign out in front and make sure we put brackets around this whole thing so that we apply the negative sign to all these terms. So we will subtract this x minus x is going to give us 0 right here, and then we essentially have 0 minus a negative x cubed over 6 is just a positive x cubed over 6, and then we have 0 minus x to the fifth over 120 is minus x to the fifth over 120. Now at this point, we need to figure out what we need to multiply by x in order to get x cubed over 6. Well, in order to get x cubed over 6, we would have to multiply that by x squared over 6. So we put that up top here, then we multiply it through. We'll get x cubed over 6. x squared over 6 times negative x cubed over 6 is negative x to the fifth over 36. And then we could multiply by x to the fifth over 120, but we don't have a term right here, so if we got the term here, we wouldn't really be able to subtract it. We'll see if we can get the first three non-zero terms without continuing to expand this power series. So now we'll subtract what we got here from the row above it. x cubed over 6 minus x cubed over 6, obviously we're going to get 0 there. Now we have negative x to the fifth over 120 minus a negative is going to be plus x to the fifth over 36. And now in order to find the value of this sum, we're going to need to find the least common denominator, which is going to be 360. So in order to get 360, we'll multiply this first term here by 3 over 3. We'll multiply the second term by 10 over 10. And what we'll get is negative 3x to the 5 over 360 plus 10x to the 5 over 360, which is going to give us 7x to the 5 over 360. So the result down here is 7x to the 5 over 360. Now we have to figure out what we need to multiply by x in order to get 7x to the 5 over 360. Well, obviously we need to multiply it by 7x to the 4 
over 360. So we go ahead and put that up there and we could multiply through. But as you can see, we have three non-zero terms. So this right here is our final answer. So that's how you can use power series division to find the first three non-zero terms of this Maclaurin series x over sine of x. So I hope you found that video helpful. If you did, like this video down below and subscribe to be notified of future videos.